do tend to wherever I am look for places where I might be able to get indigenous clays and I thought it would be great to get some London clay. So I was able to do that. I saw some construction site when I went to a gallery so I decided to see if I could get some. When I was asked if I would be interested in doing a residency here at the V&A, it just immediately struck me as something that I couldn't say no to. Since I've been here for almost three months now, and a lot of what's in the studio is a result of a number of projects, some that arose as part of situations that came about since I've been here and some that were planned ahead. Planned ahead projects had to do with lost ceramic arts and technology, which is something I specialize in, 17th and 18th century ceramic techniques and how those techniques and the context of the pieces relate to uh, 21st century issues. And one of the most exciting things for me was the idea of curating this case and picking objects from the collection. And of course, the V&A has such an enormous collection of things that interest me because I really draw a lot on the history of ceramics. The other things that have been happening as a part of being in the studios and being in the museum have arose out of all these things that were going on in London during the time of my residencies. One of the cases evolved with my interest in the use of pattern on 18th century Staffordshire salt glaze. I was trying to think of something that most people have that you could see this proliferation of, of pattern put together in different ways. And the Olympics being here allowed for me to reach out and see if I could get some Olympic trainers to sort of take that idea a few steps further. And Nike was really great and brought all these Olympic trainers here. Those kinds of objects to me transcend time and I really am very, very interested in things that I can feel that eliminate all those barriers of time and ideas and um, past and present and are just right here in the moment. My work is very much about, even though it, it references a lot of historical things, it, it connects to them in the present. So they're very much about the present and looking at those things because we only look at things in our present moment. So there is no experience of the past other than our, um, our present experience of it. I think of a company like Nike being probably the biggest companies in the world in terms of what everyone consumes. And dragons to me also have that connection and I've used that in some of my other work. A dragon sort of sweeping up everything in its path and it becomes part of its sort of being. And so this piece is really about exploring that idea. So I decided to start experimenting with all these different London clays by using this silicon rubber compound. The clay that just came out of the ground took right to it and just seemed to have a, a specific connection, almost like it was made for that purpose, which is you know, the extraordinary thing about clay. It has this uh, ability to be the perfect thing for things that we haven't conceived of yet. <laughs> and <laughs> it's like an entirely unique material. Thank you.